हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आज का टॉपिक है हमारा व्हाट आर द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी मीन्स ऑफ बेंटिंग ऑन टैंकर सो वी विल प्रोसीड फर्दर प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी मीन्स ऑफ बेंटिंग ऑन टैंकर मीन्स व्हाई वी हैव नीड टू बेंटिंग इन इन ए ओल्डन एक्सप्रेशन वाट गोज इन मस्ट कम आउट इट अप्लाई टू नॉट लिटरली द ड्यूरिंग लोडिंग ऑफ द कार्गो ऑन ऑयल टैंकर When the cargo enters in a cargo tank, it replaces the air inside of the tank. Simple physics, right? This air must be allowed to come out of the tank so that the pressure inside the cargo tank is within the limits. Same cargo during the unloading of the cargo on tanker. Same goes when we are unloading the cargo. Same goes, right? Right? As the cargo, as the cargo. is removed from the cargo tank the void created must be replaced by the air or inert gas the arrangement and system provide on the tanker for allowing this air come out of the cargo tank is called venting system so means means what we are doing we are, when we are loading the cargo so then uh, we have to escape the gases inside the tank then uh, uh, if we are discharging the cargo then uh, we will see here is a uh, Uh, a vacuum will create then we have to fill up with the inert gas or by the air that is known as the venting arrangement so there are two types of the venting arrangement primary and secondary primary means of the venting as per the solas chapter 2 part 2 regulation 11.6.1 the venting arrangement shall be so designed and operated as to ensure that neither pressure nor vacuum in the cargo tank shall be exceed design parameters this is what the purpose of the venting system is all about so during loading and unloading how the tanks are maintained at optimum pressure level the means of venting system we have the masterizer masterizer is generally fitted on the crude oil tanker as these ships would always carry homogeneous cargo in oil tank विकास क्रूड ऑयल टैंकर कैरी होमोजीनियस कार्गो द कार्गो टैंक्स ऑफ दीज शिप्स हैव अ कॉमन कार्गो टैंक बेंटिंग पाइपलाइंस वी कैन सी द दिस इज द कॉमन बेंटिंग पाइपलाइंस इन विच द मॉइस्चराइजर इज कनेक्टेड ऑल दीज कार्गो टैंक्स बेंटिंग पाइपलाइंस लेड टू द मॉइस्चराइजर जस्ट वी हैव सीन लाइक द मॉइस्चराइजर इज वर्टिकल पाइप fitted to the common venting piping of the all cargo tanks see here as per solas requirement the height of the masterizer needed to be minimum 6 meter this is to ensure that the cargo vapor emitting from the cargo tank through the masterizer does not accumulate on the deck see means the height of the masterizer so be at least 6 meter so when when the gases escapes from here so it will not accumulate on the deck the masterizer fitted with a valve called masterizer valve this one is masterizer valve when load load when loading the pressure inside the cargo tank released through the masterizer by opening and masterizer valve means when we are uh, when loading when we are loading the car, uh, cargo the cargo tank pressure is monitored by the opening and closing of the masterizer valve during the discharging we don't need allow to tank to go negative pressure for this the inert gas is continuously supplied to the tank from here the duty officer set desired pressure from the ccr this pressure will be pressure will be automatically maintained by auto adjustment of two valve on the ig system and second one is pv valve also called high velocity vent masterizer called low velocity vent Masterizer is a good option for the venting arrangement for the tanker carrying homogeneous cargo such as crude oil tanker but for the ships carrying different grade it will not be a good option 
This is simply because the cargo can get damaged if the vapor of the different grades are allowed to mix by having a connection between the vapor space of tanks. PV wall fitted on each tank solve this issue. PV walls are also called the high velocity one. Each tank has its own PV wall and the venting take place through the PV walls as tank is loaded or discharged. As name suggests, the PV wall consists of two walls. First is the pressure wall, second is the vacuum wall. Pressure wall means it will activate under the set positive pressure and vacuum wall it will be activates when the vacuum is created inside the tank. Usually it will set on the pressure 2000 mm WC and vacuum also minus 350 mm WG. Consider this V starting loading in tank that is closed in all respect. As we, we are not allowing the air to escape from the tanks, the pressure inside the tank would increase as the cargo quantity inside the tank increases. As this pressure reaches uh, this uh, level 2000 mmwg, the pressure wall means PV wall will activate and if the gases inside the tank will escape through the PV wall. As pressure reduces significantly below the, it will set. Same thing happen while the cargo discharging the cargo. Same thing happen when the vessel is discharging the cargo. In case, in this case, in this case with the discharging operation, a vacuum is created inside the tank. As vacuum reaches set negative pressure, PV wall will activate in set pressure minus 350 mmwg. The vacuum side disc will lift up and it will allow from the here here. It will allow the gas, the air, the uh, air from here to tank. Means the vacuum side, uh, vacuum disc side will lift and uh, the air will come inside the tank. This uh, passage of the air inside the cargo tank is only allowed if the tank is not in that condition. When we are carrying female when we are carrying flammable cargo and we need to maintain oxygen to less than 8% in a tank, we need to make sure that no air goes inside the tank. In this case, we never allow the cargo tank to be vacuumed at any by continuously introducing inert gas in the cargo tank during the discharge. As per Solas chapter 2 part 2 regulation 11.6.3.2, a second is of allowing full flow relief of vapor, air or inert gas mixture shall be provided to prevent over pressure or under pressure in the event of failure of primary means of venting. Pressure sensor. The most common secondary means of venting fitted on the modern tanker is pressure sensor. And if you see, these are not exactly means of venting, but still these can act as a secondary means of venting by alerting the purpose of these pencil sensors is to alert the operator or we can say the duty officer by an alarm if the primary method of venting fails. As per SOLAS Regulation 2 Part 2 Regulation 6.3.2 Alternative the pressure sensor may be fitted in each tank protected by primary means of venting with a monitoring system in the ship's cargo control room or Position from which the cargo operation are carried out, such as such monitor equipments also provide an alarm facility which is activated by detection of the over pressure or under pressure condition within a tank. Means we will set the limits of the pressure sensor at the limit reaches it will be activate and it will alert the duty officer or officer in watch. PV wall all fitted on the individual tank can act as a secondary means of venting. For example, if the moisturizer wall is left close while the loading and PV wall of the cargo tank will get activated. But what if there is no moisturizer on the ships like on chemical tankers, can the PV wall fitted on each tank act as a secondary means of venting? We can say no 
or we can say yes also. No, because if the PV wall is the primary means of venting on the shape, example for the chemical tanker, then this cannot act, act, act as a secondary means of venting too. But if in a tank two PV two PV wall are fitted, so one act as a, the one will act as the primary means and second as a secondary means. So we can say yes also. Okay, guys. Thank you. Uh, the part two will come, and uh, it will say about the how the we will how we will set the parameter on the pressure sensor and uh, how it will activate and what uh, what what limit we had to set uh, in these sensors. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please like the video and subscribe my channel. And.